Hello, I'm Endo. Welcome back to another video. And today we are looking at a video that is brought to you by Zoe, Leopard, NECA, and Mongoose, and Char Lizard. I think I got everybody. And this is a beautiful sub pin by Mongoose. So it's got working lights, working doors. Even sounds like there's some cool sound effects going on. So what I want to show you today is what it looks like as a Stormworks add-on. And then I'm going to show you what we're working on for the Convoy 1943 add-on. Which is, you know, something that will be ongoing forever. So it's got the cool events going and stuff like that. And this is the Submarine Island turned into a sub pin. It's very cool. Um, I'm going to show you the webpage so you can see what it looks like. And then you can go download it if you'd like to put it in your game. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Look at that. It looks amazing. So this is by Monica. So let's take a look at the webpage. All right, so here's the webpage. It is an add-on. Uh, link will be in the description of this. And as you can see down here, a lot of people are loving this. It even has like stuff on the top, like props, like vents and stuff that he added. And so it's amazing. So as you may know, last weekend we tested the Convoy 1943 add-on. Had a lot of fun. And what we want to do is we want to build out the atmosphere the immersion and the gameplay and you know based on our test we're going to tweak it but something that came up is we'd like to you know have some cool player bases rather than just spawning into you know the multiplayer island or the army base for the allies so charles started investigating and he got a working um modified island cave where he did some lighting he did like a hangar and yeah he got a an actual sub pin going on but when i saw this i was wondering if mongoose would let me convert it over and then have char convert it over and we can add it so that's what we're working on doing and thanks to zoe leopard and neca i'm able to kind of give something to char that he can use so this is the sub pin by a mongoose this is exported from stormworks and what you're going to see is when you export something from stormworks it is scary. Watch this. I'm going to hit tab and you're going to see this is what I export. See all that? All those vertices, all those little voxels turned into the model. This is not really usable and it would defeat the purpose of creating an add on like the sub pin into a 3D model island because of all of these vertices. We'd be killing our 3D uh, FPS. And even though we might be helping the physics, maybe by using 3D models rather than an add-on, this would not be good, especially if we did more than one island. So, uh, thanks to Leopard and Zoe and NECA, they kind of helped me learn how to use Stormworks models and then clean them up, and then we can put them back in the game. I've been putting things back in the game as, you know, convoy ships, which I'll show you in a later video. But I'm just going to show you how you clean this up. First of all, you have to use Blender 3.6. That is a thing that you have to do because the newer versions seem to cause a lot of problems. So that's what this is, Blender 3.6. You can always download the older versions. I'll try to link to everything in the description. Also, you're going to want the add-on that NECA created for me. And uh, it was like a late night. And I said, NECA, I need help. Do you know how to do this thing? And he did. So I'm going to show you how that tool works. Pretty simple. And uh, yeah. Okay. So first of all, after you export your 3D model from Stormworks, this is what's going to be imported a mess. So first, what we're going to do is use Mecca's add-on. And so I'm going to go over here to the little toolbox, and this has been installed. And I'm going to go ahead and merge by distance, limit it dissolve, and I'm going to join the object. I usually don't triangulate or edge split until I'm ready to export it. So we're just going to do this. Hit separate by vertex color. That was the magic tool that he created because when you use colors on a Stormworks model, it does not kind of automatically bake it in for you when you get into Blender. Actually, I don't even know what the terms are. The point is, unless you actually separate the vertices and the faces with the color, you can't export it out of Blender and get it back into Stormworks. So the little tool that NECA created, it, it helps me do this look at that watch this we're gonna hit z and material preview and now it is painted as it is in stormworks so 
all this work is already done for me. I don't have to do anything. And as you can see, the model is not crazy scary anymore. The only thing that usually is scary is stuff like like stairs and stuff like that. They tend to get a lot of vertices. Let's me go into edit mode. Uh, not too bad, actually. Not too bad at all. But when you get a lot of these, you're getting a lot of information that you don't want. Also, if you come over here and look in here, um, you'll see that I got rid of a lot of the the modeling that Mongoose did with, um, what do you call these things? Rails. And also pipes, I minimized it to one because when you import it into Stormworks, you're going to get like each of these individual pipes separate. So what I spent time doing is making all of these single pipes and then I built out all the railings. And, you know, that was done by going into the edit mode, picking the, the face, and then, you know, extending it one by one, you know, to the roof on all of these parts. And then I did that as well with the parts over here. I'll put one block as a kind of like a, a reference. Where's that? So this is a reference, right? This rail, because if you put all the rails down and you export it, from Stormworks, you're going to get individual faces and vertices. And I was trying to minimize all that. So again, I just come over here and then I'll, you know, do these faces and then I extended it down. And then that's kind of like my cheat modeling because I don't know how to model uh, in Blender very well. I've, I've kind of gotten lucky by, you know, doing little bits of modeling here and there, but I, I wouldn't know how to model this, you know, myself by hand. So Stormworks lets me do this and you know maybe it's not super duper efficient as if i was building like buildings but as long as i could like get the vertices down to you know as much as possible which you know you saw how it came in um i think this is this is something i can live with the point is that i tried to clean this up as much as possible putting only blocks that i could extend you know and then i come over to the railing and then you know i extend and then it locks on there and then we have a railing. And so that's what I did. And so I sent this off to Char. Also, it's sometimes good to mirror it. So there we go. So anyways, I sent this off to Char. So he's going to add it to the game. And I got Mongoose's permission. So if you like this uh, model, uh, go to Mongoose's workshop page. Link is in the description. Go ahead and subscribe to this model. And when I'm done, I'm also going to give him the file. So if he wants to upload this mod, which is probably going to be very static compared to his moving doors and all that stuff, he'll be able to do that. So you'll be able to get it there. So if you don't subscribe to him, you may not know when it gets uploaded, if he uploads it, that is. So anyways, this is the idea for Convoy 1943 to make it more immersive, to start adding little details to the game world, you know, within my limits and Char's limits. And uh, yeah, it would be great to get some help if people are interested in building out the world. Uh, I mean, it would be very cool to get a, a 1940s naval base for ships, you know, like with the cranes and like the docks. I don't know how I would do that right now, but that would be cool. So if you want to help with this, go ahead and head over to Endo Events and give me a ping if you'd be interested in doing that. We also want to go ahead and make the gameplay better. So we've been working on the ideas of how we get people in the game. Originally, we're going to do scout planes. But that doesn't seem to be the way to go. So we're going to be working on a new way so that we actually use the bases for a spawn point and it's immersive and then you get into battle. So more news on that coming when we start testing that. So hopefully we'll have a game this weekend, Friday and Saturday. I'm trying to do Fridays and Saturdays. So I will post in the Indo event server. If you want to join in, make sure that you go there and I'm going to post invites and like it's kind of first come first serve when you, you know, you got to hit the uh, invite so that I know who wants to play because uh, sometimes more than I can handle, well, not me, but more than the storms can handle, people sign up and then I uh, I don't have enough room and I feel bad because I have to tell you, I'm sorry, you can't play. So uh, there you go. So anyways, this is just kind of a sneak preview of what we're trying to do with the gameplay and the add-on. And of course, the add-on will not be available on the workshop. So if you want to play Convoy 1943, Join the Indo event server and let me know you're interested. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you next time. Down when you came looking around. Got him roaming in and out now. All that is gold won't glimmer.
here forever as I told the CEO It's a hunt for you both 